Hello everybody, John Chikotwell back here again with another video, and today I bring you another Top 5. Yes, it's that time of the week again, so let's get right down into it. Uh, today's Top 5, and also next week's Top 5, I'm bringing back TVs. Yes, I'm going back into Top 5 TV stuff, and uh, this week and next week I'll be focusing on my personal Top 5 favorite and best TV moms. So uh, today's Top 5 is my Top 5 TV animated mothers. So let's get right down into it. Uh, first off... Uh, for this specific top five, I will not be including animes, and I will not be including uh, animated movies. So I'll be strictly considering only American TV cartoons. So that's generally what I'm going to be doing. And also I'll only be uh, considering characters, uh, mother characters who are significant in their roles and actually had stuff to do and weren't just kind of cliche or just you know downright shallow or obnoxious or stupid. So I, most of the characters I'll be considering are at least have something to do with the show that aren't just cliche if you will or at least overly cliche if that makes any sense but overall it's my personal list it's subjective as always and it's my you know top five so that's why there's a comment section below let me know what your top five tv animated mothers are so anyways uh, as everyone knows you know everyone grows up with tv everyone grows up with cartoons when we when we become when we're fucking kids and stuff and one of the best things about that is the family stuff and what as all kids look up to is the mom so of course you know what better I mean, like, if you made a list of top five dads, it'd be kind of pointless because, well, my personal opinion, because generally every single father in TV cartoon history were downright dumb, useless, or just had terrible timing and of everything. You know, even today's dads, unless it's like, you know, a weird situation. But overall, they're pretty much just dumbed down, so... That's why you pick TV moms, because even though most of them may be a little cliche to what uh, the stereotypical mother is, especially back in the day, overall, uh, TV moms, I think, have more significant roles than TV dads, because TV dads are mostly just dumb, and they, bo they just go on useless adventures, while moms take care of the family. So that's why I'm choosing moms for this specific top five. But if you want me to do top five TV dads, then we'll go into that uh, to that fucking scenario. But overall, uh, for this week and next week's top fives, I'll be specifically only talking about my favorite uh, mothers on TV. So, anyways, let's get let's stop my rambling and get right into this list. Uh, starting up at number five has to go to Wilma Flintstone of the Flintstones. As a kid, I, as all kids back in the day, we all grew up on the Flintstones. It's kind of like the original, it's the Stone Age family that we all wish and loved we were a part of. And, uh, of course, it's just an iconic TV show, you know. I mean, Wilma Flintstone, even though she, at the time, that was representative of women and mothers at the time, where it's just like homemakers and uh, taking care of the kids, taking care of the husband, stuff like that, uh, cleaning, you know, cooking, all that kind of crazy shit, but overall, you know, when you're introduced to TV families, cartoons specifically, Wilma Flintstone's the number one mom to go for, so anyways, and also, if I had to compare, she's definitely the best out of the moms of her era, definitely, you know what I mean, like, especially if you compare it to, like, the, Jets the Jetsons, which I liked as a kid, I liked the Jetsons, I think it was a decent show, but in comparison to Flintstones, especially Wilma, She's just superior. She's just way better than that mom. I mean, I mean, like, the people in Jetsons, they focus too heavily on technology. They don't really do anything. She's hardly a mom. I mean, like, all she does is, like, fucking waste money and fucking buy shit. She's basically an old teenager. She's kind of like one of those teenage moms. I don't want to go any further than there, but I'm just, basically Wilma Flintstone for the win. Moving off of that, going to number four on my list has to go to... Linda Belcher of the Bob's Burgers. Bob's Burgers is definitely one of my favorite cartoons as of late. And she's just a fucking awesome ride to fucking, you know, talk shit about or, like, watch in general. I mean, like, she's so awkward and weird. I mean, majority of characters in Bob's Burgers are very awkward and weird in comparison to, like, regular people and regular cartoons. But overall, Linda Belcher is just one of my favorite, I want to say, favorite original cartoon mom of today's generation of this era. Especially when you grow up on um, on today's stuff, like Family Guy and American Dad and majority of all Seth MacFarlane cartoons. I like to consider Bob's Burgers superior 
to those. You know, she's Linda is definitely the best out of those specific characters, with the exception of maybe, you know, the Cleveland show. But um, overall, Bob's Burgers is definitely one of my favorites, and Linda Belcher is just an awesome mother. Uh, the way she just does the, the voice does it all for me. I think the voice is just hysterical. Her design is just amazing. And, I mean, like, she's running a business with her husband and family. That's just badass. Anyways, moving off of that. Going into number uh, three on my list has to go to Marge Simpson of The Simpsons. Of course, The Simpsons is the definitive cartoon TV family show of all time. Definitely. It's definitely one of the... It's the best of the best. It's the definitive cartoon TV show of anyone's generation. And Marge Simpson is definitely one of my favorite... TV cartoon moms. I mean, like, she's definitely, she takes, like, the aspects of, like, the old generation mothers of, like, being a homemaker, but I think what Marge Simpson and what the Simpsons did is, like, they brought it for, like, the new generation. Like, it was kind of like, it just brought all that old aspects and just kicked it up a notch and a high, you know, fucking hydrated that shit. I mean, Marge Simpson, she does not just bring the old aspects of, like, being a homemaker and all that kind of crazy stuff, but also she brought, like, sexy to cartoon moms. I think that's what she did. She brought sexiness to, uh, to today's TV moms. I mean, I'm just saying, I don't think you could have today's TV moms unless there was a Marge Simpson. You know, I mean, like, you had your, your Wilma Flintstones back in the day, and your Hanna Barbera and stuff like that, but overall, Marge Simpson is today's TV mom. You know, she's that kind of person. And overall, The Simpsons. I grew up with The Simpsons. I, I love The Simpsons. Uh, everyone, of course, you know, has their own favorite seasons or episodes and characters. I mean, every single character in The Simpsons universe is a staple in cartoon history. You know, and of course, I mean, like, come on, she has to, she has to take, she has to have the aspects of being a homemaker. Being sexy at the same time with that weird ass fucking hairstyle, and she has to take care of the two biggest, obnoxious, dumbest, craziest characters in TV history, which is of course Homer and Bart Simpson. So, come on, you have to give it up to to Marge. Anyways, and also she's unique. I mean, come on, her design in and of itself. I mean, majority of all Simpsons characters are unique for their design, but overall, come on, the hair is just killing me just thinking about it. But overall. It's awesome. Moving off of that, going into number two on my list, and this was very difficult. I mean, for one, the next two TV moms I'm about to name were very, very difficult to, to pick, which I would consider my number two, my number one, and stuff like that. But overall, uh, as much as I love this next character, uh, I just had to leave it at number two. It's definitely the one of my favorites, and I consider it to be the best, but... uh. It's definitely number two on my list. But anyways, number two on my top five TV animated moms has to go to Maddie Phantom of Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom is definitely one of my favorite uh, Nickelodeon TV cartoon shows that uh, as of late. And um, I think Madeline Phantom was definitely a part of the new generation of TV cartoon moms. Or specifically the 2000, uh, like the mid, late 2000s-esque uh, TV moms were like, they had the aspects of, like, being a mom and taking care of your kids, but they didn't just go the Maggie, uh, the Marge Simpson route and just gave them jobs, you know? Like, you weren't just a homemaker, you had a legitimate job. And they, they had, and Nickelodeon did this, like, crazy, and a lot of other uh, Disney shows also did this, like, crazy at this specific time period, like the mid-2000s, where it's like you just gave them jobs where you had... You know, okay, she's a spy, she's a secret agent, she's a scient she's a fucking rocket scientist, she's a fucking, you know, they had all, she's a superhero, you know, they had these, all these freaking various jobs that weren't just like, they were more, you know, fantastical and unrealistic for TV moms, but overall, it was just that era, that new era of TV moms, and Maddie Phantom is definitely a staple in those versions, I mean, and plus, she's my personal favorite, I mean, like, she has all the aspects of what a TV mom, a cartoon TV mom should be. I mean, like, she's fucking hot, she's a redhead, she's a scientist, and she's a ghostbuster. Get the, the, how did, how's it get any better from there? I mean, like, come on, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, she's amazing. She's just a badass character. She's just a, she's 
so superior in comparison to any other character on Danny Phantom, with the exception of Danny Phantom himself and his villains. But overall, Danny Phantom as a TV show definitely uh, was, I think, I like to consider it definitely one of the more underrated Nickelodeon shows, even though uh, it, you could argue that there's definitely better Nickelodeon shows, but it's definitely underrated, and Maddie uh, Phantom is one of my favorite uh, TV anime moms of the newer generation of TV moms. So, generally, out of every single cartoon TV mom who's had an actual legitimate job who that wasn't cliche and very unrealistic, she's definitely my favorite. I mean, come on. It's just awesome. But nevertheless, before I get into my number one pick, Let's name off some honorable mentions that did not get on my list. Uh, first off, Ann Possible from Kim Possible. I love Kim Possible. It's just definitely another really underrated TV show on Disney. I wish they could have kept going on with that one. But uh, overall, Kim Possible was badass. And her mom, God, that was fucking badass too. Anyways, moving on for that, Asian K from The Replacements. I mean, come on, she's a badass super spy. That's kind of cool. Uh, anyways, moving off of that, you have Francine Smith from American Dad. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of Seth MacFarlane TV shows, Francine is cool. I mean, like, she's funny. She's, I guess, she's kind of like the, she's like the, the cliche, dumbed-down MILF, blonde, stupid blonde chick, MILF thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But overall, I do enjoy American Dad from time to time, and Francine's definitely one of the more funnier characters to watch on that show, with the exception of Stan and uh, what have you. But anyways, um, Mrs. Turner from Fairly Odd Parents, another cartoon show that I really liked. Uh, Drew Saturday from The Secret Saturdays was a pretty badass show. I liked that too. Betty Rubble, another Flintstones character. And, um, ah, God, I, I really don't want to name off anime characters, but uh, maybe I might do an anime list of that. Anyways, but anyways, uh, Donna Tubbs from Cleveland Show. I really enjoy Cle I think the Cleveland Show is definitely the more superior of the Seth MacFarlane shows, and Dana, Donna, uh, Donna Tubbs is definitely one of one of the best characters from those character lists. Anyways, um, moving off of that, on my honorable mentions, has to go down to, uh, oh my god, this is kind of hard, but I guess Peg Pete from Goof Troop. Uh, Goofy is one of those mixed feeling kind of Disney characters, but Peg was so weird. As a character, I mean, like, she was so, like, she was cutesy and fun, and then she'd go all crazy and start yelling and, like, doing all this, oh, God. Just, just look up a cartoon, an episode of having her in there. She's freaking crazy and awesome at the same time. I mean, her hair is like, what the hell? And then, and then you open up the options, like, what's with the dogs? You know, that's the, 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 the million dollar Disney questions. What's with the dogs? You know? The Pluto goofy thing. I don't know. It's a huge debacle. I don't want to get into it. But talking dogs, humanoid creatures. What's, 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 there's no wrong in such things. But there is questions. So you need to keep that open. But nevertheless, enough of my rambles. Enough of my crazy rambles, folks. Let's get into my number one pick of my number one uh, animated TV mom. Has to go to Dexter's mom from Dexter's Laboratory. Dexter's Lab Laboratory is definitely one of my favorite Cartoon Network shows of all time. It's the number one show that not only did I love watching when I was a kid, but it's the number one show that I can relate to. I mean, like, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of things you can't relate to. I mean, like, I didn't have, like, a rivalry with, you know, some crazy evil scientist, and I was I didn't have my secret lair where I just did, like, Batman-esque stuff, and I didn't have, like, a super-powered monkey or anything. But I had so, like, you... Like, if you cut out all the fantastic, fantastical stuff of Dexter's lab Laboratory and just kept the essentials, that was kind of like my life. I mean, I was just, when I was a kid, I was just this short, like, obnoxious kid that no one really wanted to be friends with, and I had a hard time, like, fitting in, and I just grew up with, you know, my mom and my dad, who were exact copies, kind of copies, of, like, Dexter's mom and dad, and also my older sister, in the house, like, it was just, in the house, it was just me, my mom, my dad, and my older sister, and that's basically, like, Dexter's, uh, laboratory storyline, so that's kind of, like, what I kind of related to, and plus, I just love Gendy's fucking cartoons, I mean, like, he makes the best fucking cartoons, I mean, just name off the list, everything he does is classic, I mean, Symbionic Titan, uh, fucking Samurai Jack, 
Star Wars, Clone Wars. I mean, everything he does is just an amazing piece of fucking awesome cartoon history. And Dexter's Laboratory is definitely number one on that list. Well, at least close to number one on that list. And Dexter's mom, I love. She's definitely uh, one of those characters that you can't stop watching. She's just awesome. She's, you know, and she can, you know, be mother. She can be homemaker. She's obsessed with cleaning. I mean, like, she, I mean, like, when I look at Dexter's mom, all I can think of is, like, that's, like, my mom back in the 90s. My mom was basically that in the 90s. She always, like, cleaned, and she had, like, those yellow fucking stupid rubbery gloves, and she had that kind of hairstyle, and she would always do this kind of crazy shit, and uh, she would always help me out, and, and we would always have these kind of adventures and shit, and I just love Dexter's mom. She's just awesome, and every time I see that show and see Dexter's mom, I always think the parallel of, like, my life and that life of and how close it was, with the exception of, like, you know, monkey and having my own secret lair. But overall, I love Dexter's Laboratory, and Dexter's mom is hands down, in my personal opinion, the number one TV animated mom in history, at least in my opinion. Overall, it's my personal list, folks. It's my top five, and not everyone's going to agree. And that's why there's a comment section below. Let me know what your top five TV animated moms are. And uh, I hope everyone has enjoyed. Let me know what you personally thought about my list. Um, specifically, what do you think about the characters in my list? I don't really think it's okay to give me uh, an opinion that says that my list sucks. But overall, if I, I just want to get personal thoughts on that. But overall... Uh, let me know what you personally thought. I hope everyone has enjoyed. Let me know what you personally think in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not done so already. And of course, next week, I'll be doing my top five hottest TV moms. So that's gonna... I hope you guys look forward to that one. And of course, it's all live action. It's not gonna... I'm not gonna include cartoon characters or anything because that's just gonna open up a whole bunch of weird questions and weird, you know, weird scenarios and innuendos. And we don't need that here. But anyways... Look, I uh, hope you guys look forward to next week's top five, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. This has been John Twelve.